March marks a turning point in the Earth's celestial dance. This month, we approach the first equinox of the calendar year, and the seasons officially change after the equinox passes. Also, March has two eclipses, total lunar eclipse and partial solar eclipse, followed by a grand planetary alignment. While this heralds the changing of light more for the northern hemisphere, less for the southern, there are still fantastic opportunities to see what's up in the March night sky. Particularly, March is a great month for planet gazing and to try and spot deep space objects during a messier marathon. March 8th, Mercury at highest altitude in evening sky. On March 8th, Mercury will reach its highest altitude in the evening sky, providing an excellent opportunity to observe the elusive planet. Typically difficult to spot due to its proximity to the Sun, Mercury will be visible low on the western horizon just after sunrise. Near its peak, it will be as far as 16 degrees from the Sun. This event marks one of the best times to see Mercury as it shines brightly against the dusk, making it a spectacular sight for dedicated sky watchers. March 8th, the Wishing Well Cluster is well placed. I just love the names of some of the deep space objects in the night sky, and the Wishing Well Cluster might be one of my favorites. While it's not visible for Northern Hemisphere viewers as far as north I am, 40 degrees north and higher, the Open Star Wishing Well Cluster will appear high in the sky for most viewers on the night of March 8th. Using your stargazing equipment, look for it in the constellation Carina, which will reach its peak in the sky around midnight local time on this night. March 14th Full Moon The full moon in March 2025 is Friday, March 14th at 2.55 a.m. Eastern Time. It will be also known as the Worm Moon. This full moon was special because it coincided with a total lunar eclipse, also known as the Blood Moon. March 14th, total lunar eclipse, March 2025, brings with it a total lunar eclipse that means the moon will appear completely red. It will occur on the night of March 13th to 14th, 2025, depending on where you view it. For most of those viewing from the Western Hemisphere, the lunar eclipse can be seen late on the 13th, if you're viewing in the Eastern Hemisphere, it will be visible early on the 14th. The total lunar eclipse will be visible across almost all of North America and South America, plus parts of Greenland and Antarctica. This lunar eclipse will begin at 357 UTC and will end at 1000 UTC. The total eclipse will occur from 0626 UTC to 0731 UTC meaning there's a 65-minute window where the moon will appear completely red. March 14th, peak of the Gamma Normid meteor shower. And now for something different. Mid-March also welcomes a different kind of astronomical experience, the peak of the Gamma Normid meteor shower on March 14th. This southern hemisphere meteor shower runs from February 25th through March 28th, but astronomers predict that the night of greatest activity will occur on the 15th. On this night, you can expect to see up to six meteors per hour. While the Gamma Normids aren't one of the major meteor showers in the year, viewers in the Southern Hemisphere can enjoy trying to spot meteors as they radiate from the constellation Norma. March 20th, March Equinox. The March Equinox on March 20th is not a night sky event per se, but it's worth noting on your calendar because it marks the changing of seasons. In the Northern Hemisphere, winter will officially end and spring will begin. In the Southern Hemisphere, summer will end and autumn will begin. People have marked this date throughout history and continue to do so across the globe with all kinds of celebrations and events. March 29th, Partial Solar Eclipse. March has a partial solar eclipse too, a partial solar eclipse is where only part of the sun will be obscured, like a cookie with a bite taken out. The partial solar eclipse will be visible on March 29, 2025, from 8.50 UTC to 12.43 UTC. The maximum of the eclipse will occur at 10.47 UTC. On March 29, 2025, 
a partial solar eclipse will be visible across several continents, including Europe, Asia, Africa, North America, and South America. The best viewing positions will be in the far eastern parts of North America, where sky watchers will see the eclipsed sun rising on the eastern horizon at sunrise. March 29th, Grand Alignment of Planets. A rare celestial event is set to occur on March 29, 2025, when seven planets, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune will align in the night sky. This phenomenon, often referred to as a planetary parade, won't happen again until 2040. For the best viewing experience, in, it's recommended to observe the alignment shortly after sunset. Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Mercury will be visible to the naked eye, while Uranus and Neptune will require binoculars or a small telescope. The western horizon will be the optimal spot to catch this stunning display. Close approaches and lunar occultations in March 2025 offers another series of captivating astronomical events, close approaches, and lunar occultations. Lunar occultations are when the moon passes in front of other objects in the night sky from our earthly perspective. Of course, the moon is always passing in front of stuff, but certain lunar occultations are notable, particularly when it passes in front of another planet in the solar system. However, when the moon doesn't directly pass in front of an object, but instead appears very close to that object, it's called a close approach. Here are the close approaches in March, March 6th, close approach of the Moon and Jupiter, passing within 5 degrees 29 minutes of each other in the constellation Taurus. March 8th, close approach of the Moon and Mars, passing within 1 degree 38 minutes of each other in the constellation Gemini. That wraps it up. March was a busy month of planets moving through the sky, meteors streaking across it, and one great night for those who want to gaze deep into space. Have questions about these March night sky events? Let me know in the comments. For space updates, subscribe to Secrets of Space.